Hello and welcome back. So um, it is time for the um, January release of the new dies from Scrap Diva Designs. So I am here to share with you again the dies and a little look at a couple things I've made, more things that I've made, and then I will have the links for you down there too. So get ready to to uh, hit the website at uh, midnight tonight <laughs> and so you don't miss out on any of these that you might want okay so first up we have this one postage stamp mini album okay fringed hearts the fringed hearts bundle this is the xoxo shaker this one is called valentine treat box and it looks like I left a couple pieces over there, <clears throat> but I'll show you what it looks like. This is called Garbage Container Bin. This one is called Valentine Banner Set. This is called Market Stand Mini Album. This looks so fun. This one, Heart Jelly Bag. It's another, another jelly bag. This one's a little bit smaller than the other two that have been previously released. Uh, cell phone shaker and cover, armoire tag set, uh, heart mini album, and the heart poster stamp die set. Okay, so these don't cut out, these just make holes. Okay, all right, so let me show you real quick. I've already did a quick little share on this one. This is from the um, Heart Mini Album. It comes with it with a nice layered bow and everything. Okay. <clears throat> this is the this one, which is called the Valentine Treat Box. So it this is the outlining pieces. You can see. Hang on, let me grab the other piece. I think the cat just walked through the <laughs> camera too. Anyway, this is the other piece that comes with it. You cut this out twice and that makes your box. Okay, so then it comes with this uh, frame piece right here so you can make a shaker and then the smaller frame piece to like if you want to make a shaker on the side. Okay, and then there's these plates that will cut out to make, you know, shaker mixes. So we got hearts and we have lips. And there's something else back there. I can't remember what it was. X's and O's back there behind. Let me see if I can get it. Here we go. So now you got the X's and O's also. So those three plates of um, shakers. So I made this. It's a nice size box. It is about it's about seven, eight inches tall and it's about three and a quarter inches wide. So look how pretty that comes out. And it's super simple to put together. I just tied some ribbons on top. Um, and then what I did was I used this um, on the postage stamp mini album set. It comes with um, pull these out. It comes with this piece, the love, all connected together, and then this uh, cuts out the trim. Okay, so it's part of this um, postage stamp set. But anyway, I took it, and before I put this together, I you know, put it here on my paper, and I cut this out, and then I put some um, uh, acetate on the back. So it's not a shaker, but it, um, it could be, you know, so. Anyway, I just put some stuff back there and then I filled it with some shred. And this is the piece that cuts out. So I just kind of put that back in there to kind of draw attention to the, you know, to the clear pieces. So look how fun that is. So that is that. Okay, and then, um, let's see. And then I also made let's see where's the die 
Okay, so this is the Heart Mini Album. That's the one I showed you before. It has the the bow that comes with it and then like the little love hearts. I've shared all, I don't know if I should share this again, but because I've already did like a flip through on, um, like on my, um, on a reel on Instagram. But anyway, it has like these conversation hearts up here. There's the armoire tag. Let's see. Let find the pieces that I use. Okay, so for this next project I'm gonna share with you, I use the fringed hearts bundle. Okay, it has three different sizes. It cuts out the fringe heart and it also cuts out just a plain heart, okay? So let me show you what I made. So here is the largest one. Okay, I cut all my uh, fringe hearts out of crepe paper, okay? So I have, I cut this one out, this large one, I cut out three times. Um, once, uh, twice in pink and once in the green and I put the green in between the two layers. Now I also cut out this, the regular heart that's not the shaker, and I use that kind of like as a base piece to give my, you know, my fringed heart, you know, stability. So I just kind of put it on the back of that. Now, um, so I had this, the crepe paper that I use, I have a lot of it that's, it says it's like a, um, it's for like making flowers and stuff. So it's a little bit kind of thicker. So that's what the pink is but I wanted some of the green too, and I didn't have any of that type in the green. And so what I did was just take a um, crepe paper rosette that someone had made me and gifted me. It was just like a regular circle rosette, you know, crepe paper rosette, and I cut the shape out of it. And then I, you know, added it onto here. So there is, um, that's, this, that's the large size. Here's the medium size. So this one I cut out of black, so I, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, so I used the big heart for the background, and then this is the medium size for the for the fringe. And this one, I think I cut the black, I think it cut it out like four or five times, and I just kind of layered it up there. And you can fluff the fringe up to be however fluffy you want. Um, and then I just put a little bow on top of that, so that makes a cute little embellishment. And then here's the small one. Now this one, I did cut the, I cut the back piece again. I cut it out of just a pink cardstock, and then I layered up some more of the. Um, I think it's like there's probably about five or six layers of the um, crepe paper back there. Now this crepe paper was just off the roll, and so it was big enough that I could fit the small one. Like it was. <sighs> Sorry guys, the cat just going nuts in here and just dumped over a <laughs> dumped over one of my baskets of stuff sorry about that anyway um so there's like five or six layers of this one and what i did was like took my crepe paper roll and i just kind of went back and forth just kind of doubled it over you know back and forth um about six times and then i cut it out and then i just put it i stitched it um onto the paper backing just so it gives it more more stability Okay, and then I added some trim from Hobby Lobby, some uh, trim from down here, and then a little flower. I thought it turned out really cute. So here you can see the difference in sizes. So it turns out really cute. These make super cute embellishments. Now what I also used on this one is I also used the XOXO shaker. Um, the one I used is the little one. Okay, so and I did make a shaker. So I have a striped paper in the background and then the black and white striped on the front. And then I used tiny micro beads to fit inside the little X's and O's. Now you wouldn't, this wouldn't have been big enough probably to use seed beads, they're too big. But if you get the, the micro beads like I use all the time, it um, is just, it's just right. So anyway, I think that turned out really cute. Then I just put a little cute little flower there. Just kind of decorate a little bit, just to give you guys an idea what these look like. So love these, love the shaker. So that is um, just a small little project share, along with a quick look again at the dies that are, are available at midnight tonight. So get ready. I will link Erica's shop. I will put my affiliate link. I'll list my discount code in case you decide to purchase any of these, you can get save yourself some money. And then I will link all the dies. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and happy new years.